All right, boat lovers, a few of you have been asking how much plywood I have used for this build. And as you would have seen in some of the uh, previous intros to my videos, I was showing a massive pile of plywood in the corner of the shed. And uh, somebody was asking how many sheets were there and how much have I got left? Hello boat lovers, welcome to the channel. My name's Steve and I'm single-handedly building Dragonfly. She's a 53 foot or 16.2 meter flat bottom wooden river boat. I've designed her specifically for the inland and sheltered waters of the River Murray here in South Australia. Join me each week to watch the mayhem and madness of one man single-handedly building a massive flat bottom wooden boat. Well, I allocated 132 sheets of plywood. Well, I worked that out just from my little balsa wood model. So now I've got about 10 sheets left and I think I might need maybe six or seven sheets more to finish the job. So not a bad calculation going from the model. As I say, started with 132 sheets. I've got about 10 left and I'm gonna need about another five or six. That answers that question of how much plywood. I've also just been to see the window people and we've been working out the profiles of the corners of the, of the windows, which will be rounded. And I've got some samples of the actual aluminium profiles. So in this coming week, I think I will cut the windows out, which will let natural lighting, which will be so much easier to work uh, because at the moment I'm using lighting and it's really quite difficult because you're either got the light shining straight into your face or you've got the light behind you and you're working in your own shadow. So it's really hard to see fine pencil lines and things like that. So I think I'll do some cutouts, let the natural light in, and that will also give me a bit of a visual on how things are going to look. Alrighty, let's get into this week's video and I'll show you folks what I've been up to in the boat shed. Good morning again boat lovers. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Yesterday I got the petitions in the galley ready for the drawers and although I was really pleased with what I got done, at the end of the day I showed my darling wife what I'd done and she was suitably impressed. But she has a very keen eye for detail and to my disappointment, she noticed straight away that I had not made the spaces for the drawers even. Despite measuring about three different ways, I thought I had all that perfect, but uh, apparently not. So my job this morning is to realign those petitions. I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I was quite happy with what I've done there but the spaces in here are uneven and it doesn't look bad now but once you get all the drawers in there it's going to be fairly noticeable that they're not evenly spaced. So I will check all my measuring and see if I need to move just one partition 
for all of them. Okay, so as much as I do not like doing things twice, has to be done. So that's this morning's job. I haven't had a coffee yet. I'm gonna try and get these petitions realigned and then it'll be time for a coffee. Okay, let's do it.
hello again boat lovers. Those who've been following from the start will remember I had a pile of plywood about this high and I had 132 sheets of 12 mil and now I have 10 sheets left plus of course all my offcuts. I'm thinking I might need four or five sheets at the most and I have to say that's not a bad estimate basing all my measurements and material costs etc on a little 20 to 1 scale balsa wood model. So being maybe four or five sheets out for the whole job is really quite amazing. Uh, so um, yeah, very pleased with myself with that. The last boat that I did, which was a 31 footer, I had exactly the right amount of sheets and I did that, worked all that out from a little tiny cardboard model. So um, yeah, not a bad method. Anyway, started with 132 sheets, got about 10 left, and I may need another five or six. So there we go, all right. Time for me to have a break. 